Did you ever want to pour many objects into the vessel in Blender without playing with all the complicated simulation settings? You know, just click one button and watch it work naturally. Or maybe you have had hard time trying to place objects in your scene the right way, wasting way too much time for it. Well, today I will show you how to deal with both of those issues with a free add-on that will incredibly speed up your work. Physics Dropper is a free and amazing tool that allows you to drop objects with just a simple click. You don't have to use any simulation settings, just put your objects in the scene and watch them fall. Let me show you how easy this process actually is. To begin with, download the add-on from the link in the description below. The $4 price you see is a suggested donation, however you can download the files for free right here. I still recommend to donate to the author, since they really made a decent job, but I won't tell anyone if you get the free version. I may have did that as well. Ok, once you have it downloaded, open Blender and get rid of the cube. Don't worry, it's used to it. Go to Edit, Preferences and click Install. Find the zip file you just downloaded and install it. Now search for the physics dropper and turn it on, just like I did. Remember to save it and close the preferences. Now we can drop some things. But first let's check if the add-on has installed properly. Press N and in the tool section you should now have access to physics dropper. Sweet! Let's test it out on some example models. I will be using this jar from BlenderKit library and some golf balls to fill it. I'm placing my ball above the jar and deleting the lid. Now we need to have some more objects, so let's create a few. Click Shift D and now Z to determine the axis. Move the newborn golf ball a little up and hit Enter to confirm it. Now click Shift R few times to repeat the process. Blender will automatically create copies with the same offset. Once we have a vessel and our filling, it is time to see some action. Normally, I would have to set up a lot of settings, like mass, gravity, collision and so on, but not anymore. Make sure everything has applied scale to avoid bugs, it is a safety habit. Now, only select the items that you want to fall and hit drop, just like that. The add-on will drop selected objects, while everything else in your scene becomes a steady barrier. Once you're happy with position of the objects, hit Apply. If something went wrong, click Reset to fix the problem. Sometimes resetting does not work that well, so I'm using the good old Ctrl Z. And just like that, you can fill anything with anything. It's also super effective if you're struggling to place objects in your scene. For example, if I want to make render of this banana, I may need a couple minutes to figure out how would it lay down on a flat surface. With complex shapes, it's not that easy. But I can just select it and click drop, then apply. And it's done, the software did all the work for me. Cool, right? Just remember to keep an eye on a polygon count. The more vertices, the bigger the chances to crash your file. What I love the most about this add-on is the fact that I can adjust any part at any moment. If I don't like the particular setup, I can move around few objects and watch them fall again. And again. Just like that, with one click. If you need, you can also manually adjust few settings. To do that, expand those three sections and have fun with the sliders. You can change mass, friction, bounciness and few more. A little tip I can give you, if you want to play with bounciness, change it both for active settings and passive settings, otherwise it may not work. Just be careful with the amount, as your objects can go crazy. What? Oh hell no, I'm out of here. Physics Dropper is so powerful that it also allows you to create sick cloth simulation just as easily. No more annoying settings, just pure fun. This, however, is a material for another video, so if you want me to explain how to create instant cloth simulation, let me know in the comments. 
I hope you find this video helpful and if you decide to like it or even subscribe, it would make me very, very happy. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments or just simply share your opinion about this add-on. I would love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching and see you next time.